Freddy, uh, nice to meet you again. Uh, last year you were also in the Eurovision. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Uh, it is way different. Last year uh, I had the pleasure and the honor to represent my country, Hungary. And uh, this year's uh, Eurovision we are, and I am, supporting our new singer and contestant, Papa Yotsi, with his song Origo, and I am a co-commentator. So it's another pleasure, it's another honor, but still I'm enjoying Eurovision. Welcome, Ojin, in our little coffee corner. It's so nice to have you here. Yes. Um, you told me a few months ago that your first interview, actually, was the one you did, uh, your first interview in English, was with us, with Junior Eurovision TV. It was. It's mm -hmm. so fun to look, to look back to at that, that, because it's a long time ago. It's a long time that I, I've seen it, but yeah, our English was was a little bit worse at that time. <laughs> yeah, but it was still quite good. <laughs> but uh, Junior Eurovision was a phase in your career, of course, but what did that meant for you? Yeah, um, yeah it, it meant everything. It yeah. was the start of our career, and uh, from that moment on, we were singing on stage at the Eurovision, Junior Eurovision, and it went nuts. The entire um, venue went crazy, and that's and the moment when we thought, we cannot say goodbye to this yeah. ever. We want to do this for the rest of our lives. It was a start. Uh -huh. Could you give tips to your um, to the to the new contestant from Hungary this year? Uh, I think it's uh, you know it's changing by person to person. Uh, I, I don't like giving tips without being asked. You know, so uh, of course uh, Yotsi uh, asked me a couple of things that he uh, really didn't know. Uh, how how could he know? Um, and, and of course, what I could what I could uh, tell him, uh, all that was what I was experiencing. So, uh, of course, I don't know what to do. I, I I only know and I only knew what I did, and that's what I could tell him. Um, I think it's all about uh, being yourself on that stage, and I think it's uh, it's a great honor and, and pleasure. This the stage, the audience, everybody loves everybody here, and uh, that's that's the whole point. Do you have any advice for kids that want to uh, join the Junior Eurovision? Is there any advice you can give them? Yeah, Please I think do. Yeah. There's no reason uh, not to do it because yeah. if you like singing and if yeah. you if you want to be on stage, the, follow you just, your passion. Yeah, you just, just have for to the full hundred percent. And if it doesn't work immediately, don't think you're not good you enough. Fit. Just keep on going. Yeah. yeah. Since junior, what happened? What were the highlights of your career? Oh yeah, we got quite a few. <laughs> yeah, so we had an entire kids' career, and uh, that was amazing. But then in 2014, it all turned around because we wanted to do a very um, grown-up version of ourselves. We were growing up, and we wanted to make a different type of music. So we started to sing English as Ojin in the Voice of Holland, which we won. <laughs> yeah, so that was, that was uh, quite fun. a huge highlight as yeah. the first. Um, uh, yeah, first group in the world to ever win the voice, so that was really nice. And, and then our we own debut things. album in Holland, and now yes. also international and our theater, theater tour. tour. So nice, yeah, really fun. Yes. How was the experience last year? The two time three minutes that I spent on stage was amazing, and um, a lifetime experience. You know, uh, it's just six minutes, but still, uh, you could feel that you are um, hungry. Uh, for that t two nights, it, it is amazing. After the Eurovision last year, what did happen to your career? It gave me a uh, freaking enormous boost. Um, even though uh, we were not ended, we, we did not end up at the top. Uh, when we got back to Hungary, everybody uh, let me know how much they loved uh, our performance, our song. And um, basically, I can tell you that um, until that day, until this day, uh, all of our concerts uh, peak is, is pioneer. So uh, it is it is amazing, and, and uh, that is why you know it is it is so special to me the whole song because a lot of emotion is actually related to it. So uh, it, it gave me a hell of a lot of a boost. Your song had quite a special meaning because of your mom. Can do you want to explain us a little bit? Um, yeah, our song is inspired by uh, our mother, our own personal situation, because she's seriously ill. She's been battling with cancer for several years now, and uh, we wanted to do something positive with it. And we're on such a huge stage, you can better use it for so many people who are, who are going through tough times themselves. Yeah. Uh, so many people uh, are in that kind of situation. 
so we wanted to bring something positive to them, um, and that's when Lights and Shadow was, was born. So yeah. Can can we ask you how she's doing now? It's not really going well. Um, she starts uh, new, new radiation therapy, therapy uh, on Monday, actually. Yeah, so she's very proud, and she yeah, yeah she follows everything yeah. oh, really everything. good. Yeah, yes. yeah. And how how do you keep her up to date? FaceTime, FaceTime. Whatsapp, yeah, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and yeah. Uh, she, ke she keeps she keeps us up to date yeah. for yeah. everything what's going on Magazines. in the Netherlands. So the mm -hmm. television, yeah. Yeah. everything. Yes. I don't have any advice. I, I, I really, I really feel like everybody's feeling the why. Nobody care. You know, I, I'm here back to back years, and uh, now I'm spending the most time uh, where I was spending the least last year, the press center. But I really uh, can't uh, uh, stride along uh, the press center without being as how I am actually, how much they they love the song, which means people, the supporters, Eurovision fans really don't give. A damn about positions and results. They, they just love everybody who is here, who is singing for them, and, and that's the point. Uh, you know, love. That's all. Would you, would you do it again? Nice question. Um, I really didn't play uh, with a thought coming back here. Well, uh, but you, you really shouldn't say never because um, I never would have thought that uh, once I would end up representing Hungary, just as much I never would have thought that I, I am going to be uh, a co-commentator. So I never say never. Thanks for the little chit chat and enjoy your Thank coffee. You uh, we have very different voices, but when it yeah. comes together, it sounds like Ojin. It's it's yeah. a, it's another sound. So yeah, we're really lucky with that. Mm -hmm. And of course, we work really hard now. It's not something we created. It's just. Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah, we never had a vocal lesson no. or something. Uh, tonight is the jury final. We mm -hmm. wish you good luck Thanks. and um, see you soon. I yes. hope so. Of Definitely. Course. Enjoy the coffee or the tea. Oh, or the Thank, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Salvador, your name actually means savior. How are you going to save Portugal for the Eurovision Song Contest? Oh, I'm not trying to save anybody, man. That's, that was for other people. I'm just trying to send a good message with the song, and I hope I can do that. Uh, if Portuguese people like it, then uh, all the better, you know? Did you know that just now, at this moment, you are over Italy in the bookmakers, or is that something that is not... Um, Not that's just my mom that puts all the money. So, uh, uh, no, I don't. I, I I try not to think about that sort of stuff, or I I really don't think about that sort of stuff. Um, I just take it easy. So we wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much.